In this video, we'll be overclocking the Intel Core i7 11700K up to 5.3 GHz using the EK Quantum MSI MPG Z590 Carbon EKX motherboard. The Core i7 11700K offers 8 cores and 16 threads with a listed base frequency of 3.6 GHz and a listed boost frequency up to 5 GHz. Before we start, let's first talk a little bit about the hardware that we'll be using in this guide. Along with the Core i7 11700K processor and EK Quantum MSI MPG Z590 Carbon EKX motherboard, we will be using an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, a pair of G-Skill Trident Z DDR4 4266 memory sticks, a Seasonic Prime 850 watt platinum power supply, the Elmore Labs P80 DB2 LPC debug card, and of course EK Quantum water cooling. All this is mounted on top of our favorite open bench table. With all this in mind, let's jump into the benchmarks and the overclocking. Here's a list of of the benchmarks that we'll use in this guide. Before we get started with pushing the performance of the Intel Core i7 11700K processor, let's first have a look at the performance at stock settings. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX enabled, the CPU operates stably at 3.6 GHz with 1.043 volt. The average CPU temperature is 53 degrees centigrade and the average VRM temperature is 36 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 125 watt. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the CPU operates stably at 4 GHz with 1.084 volts. The average CPU temperature is 48 degrees centigrade and the average VRM temperature is 36 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 126 watt. MSI offers a really easy way to overclock your CPU using the turbo ratio offset mode. Turbo ratio offset basically lifts all the turbo ratios up from default by a certain amount. Setting the turbo ratio offset uses the default method of applying turbo ratios, meaning the frequency is determined by how many cores are active. In this new configuration, the frequency will be 5.3 GHz when up to two cores are active, 5.2 GHz when three or four cores are active, 5 GHz when five or six cores are active, and 4.9 GHz when seven or eight cores are active. We set a negative offset of minus seven. This will result in a CPU frequency of 4.6 GHz with 1.3 volt when running AVX instructions. For the voltage, we choose adaptive voltage mode. Intel CPUs come with a factory fused VF curve. VF curve stands for voltage frequency curve. For each ratio up to the default maximum turbo boost ratio, Intel has specified a certain voltage. The Core i7 11700K has a default maximum turbo ratio ratio of 50x. When using adaptive voltage mode, we tell the CPU it should follow the factory fused voltages for all ratios of 50x and lower. However, for ratios 50x and up, things get a little bit more complicated. Intel uses one register to define the target voltage for all ratios that are above the default maximum turbo ratio. Obviously, the voltage required for 53x will be much higher than for 50x. That's why Intel interpolates the voltage. We set the adaptive voltage to 1.45 volt for 53x. The target voltage for ratios 50x, 51x, and 52x, we can estimate by evenly dividing the difference between 1.45 volt and 1.34 volts. For 50x, 1.368 volt. For 50 1.395 volts and for 52x 1.423 volts. Upon entering the BIOS, click XMP Profile 1 to enable XMP. Press F7 to enter the advanced mode. Enter the OC menu. Set CPU ratio apply mode to turbo ratio offset. Set turbo ratio offset value to plus 3. Enter the advanced CPU configuration submenu. Set Intel C state to enabled. Set TVB ratio clipping to disabled. Leave the advanced CPU configuration submenu. In the CPU AVX control section, set CPU ratio offset when running AVX to minus 7. Set CPU ratio offset when running AVX 512 to minus 7. In the voltage settings section, set CPU core voltage mode to adaptive mode. Set CPU core voltage to 1.45. Then save the settings and exit the BIOS. We reran the benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to default operation. As you can see, the performance uplift is quite impressive across the board. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX enabled, the CPU operates stably at 4.6 GHz with 1.295 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95 degrees centigrade and the average VRM temperature is 48 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 258 watts. When running Prime95 small FFT with AVX disabled, the CPU operates stably at 4.9 GHz with 1.34 volts. The average CPU temperature is 79 degrees centigrade 
and the average VRM temperature is 46 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 246 watt. All right, let's wrap this up. Here's a hot take. If the overclocking capabilities of the sample that I tested is representative of what the majority of the 11700K processors will be able to do, then I think that this might become an enthusiast's favorite. The only downside will be that overclocking a Rocket Lake CPU is very temperature dependent. The Carbon EKX, uh, fortunately, is a board that is geared toward custom loop water cooling users. That's why I definitely approve of MSI unconstraining the power limits by default because yeah, it gives you 25% more performance out of the box. That's it for this video. Till the next time.